Ladies and gentlemen, King of the Sea, a paranormal merman romance, Sea of Love, book one. Welcome back, ladies and gents. It is time for another episode of Reading Event with me, Alexis Ann. This week we have Laura Von Holt, aka Madame de Boudoir, uh, reading us King of the Sea, which is perfect timing for this time of year. Aquaman is about to hit theaters. Everyone's all about the mermaids, and she wrote us one sexy alpha hero merman and it is a sexy book so buckle up here we go yep i brought back the crown for this episode first of all i had so much fun wearing it in the last episode <clears throat> about the royal runaway and since this is king of the sea it only made sense that I would have to wear a crown again. I mean, how often does one get to wear a crown? So as you may have guessed from the intro you just saw, when the book came out, Nate thought it would be a fun present for Laura to read her blurb in his sexy movie trailer voice. It was extra sexy movie trailer voice at the time because he had had a cold, so you know, the voice gets deeper and sexier pick it up off shelves everywhere. And he and Laura have a very special relationship. She giggles whenever he's around, <laughs> sometimes becomes a little bit um, incoherent, which is adorable, it's really adorable. I have some of my favorite um, pictures of the two of them together and they're just, they're hilarious. He loves making her giggle. She loves to giggle when he's around. So he thought it would be a lot of fun to read her whole blurb in his moviest movie voice. Ladies and gentlemen, King of the Sea, a paranormal merman romance. And I would edit it together with some images. How a penniless American girl transformed into La Sarine de Monte Carlo. And send it to her as a gift. And we had a lot of fun doing it. Um. I just, I knew that my fans would be devoted, but I, I didn't know that they would be so devoted or <laughs> so sexy. So I did sprinkle some stuff from that into today's episode. Thanks, you guys. That was really special. Thank you. Come to bed. Hi. <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> how, how are you? It's going to get good. Yes, please do. Uh, I've never actually been in bed with you. <gasps> you we've, we've never been in bed together. No, we were in separate beds the last one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You let me sleep in your yeah. room. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. This is my friend, Laura Hi. Holt. Hello. She is the author. Well, her persona. <sighs> yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> Laura's a very prestigious and um, prolific human. She has many personalities, yeah. many uh, talents, and one of them is taking on the persona of Madame de Boudoir. Yeah, which is the bedroom, <laughs> which is good for... Being in bed with in me. In bed. Yes. This is my, reading is my third favorite thing to do in bed. Okay. Sometimes I don't what, know where your first favorite is sleeping. Yeah. Your second favorite is dirty. Yeah. Your third favorite is it's reading. reading. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's dirty reading, then I like dog. You don't have to choose. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah, and if you fall asleep right after, then it's like oh. all three in one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need to fix my life. Yeah. I've been doing it all. If you read dirty wrong. and then fall asleep, you're really just doing everything you want at the same time. Yes. Yeah. So read her book. And read dirty and fall asleep right after. Yeah. And you've done all three of her yeah. three favorite things. things. Yeah. So, King of the Sea. Yeah. Is about a merman. A merman. He's the king of the sea. 
I mean, we all love some powerful men. Yeah, he's he's literally powerful. He's literally powerful. He has powers. <laughs> and prowess. And prowess. And he is handsome. And so, you guys need to look at the cover up close because there is super forearm porn on this yeah, cover. Yeah, it's good for him. With um, the veins. Yes. And every, like I was petting it a minute ago. Yeah, I know it's nice. Yeah. 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 It's very nice. Yeah. And um, I'm sorry, I forgot what I was looking at. She was like, yeah. I was just like. We were talking about there's a merman. Yes, here. there's a merman and there is a penniless showgirl. showgirl. How a penniless American girl transformed into La Sarine de Monte Carlo. The most seductive dancer ever to grace the European stage. Oh, well, and Monte yes. Carlo. She's American, but she's stranded in, in Monaco. And she's like, I guess I'll make my living dancing in the opera it's, house. Yes. It, it's historical fantasy. So it's like 1870. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. and it's it's a shorter... It's a short. It's novella. Novella. But a lot happens. <laughs> a lot happens. Oh. It's, it's, is it all in one night? It's all in one night. Yes. Yeah. It's one Hot night. Yeah. It's a one night stand that lasts forever. Oh, yeah. 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 You should be wearing pearls. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I remember pearls. There we go. Which, well, we won't tell. We no, won't they'll have it. to read the book yeah. to find out why that matters. Yeah. But it's also, my, really my next reason. one, the pearl pearls are, pearls are just a big deal. Pearls are a big yeah. deal. And this merman is, he's based on the, the little mermaid. So, in the Hans Christian Andersen version. No, not Disney. There is a sea king mentioned who is the father of Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. And so my imagination, when when she's like, I'm in love with a man, the sea king, and, and how's your generation? He's like, I don't know, that's a good idea, but he doesn't really like do anything. And mine, he's like, oh, hell no, and goes to the surface to find that prince and avenge his daughter. Ah! <laughs> He, it's like the wrong move when you have a teenager. Yes, but he's super yeah. alpha about the yeah. whole thing. Like, I'm the king of the sea. sea. And I, a teenager is not gonna... Yeah, you know humans, girl. No. But... but he gets distracted. <laughs> by a human! By a human! <laughs> <laughs> and it's a really good, like, foot and mouth. Whoa! Foot mm -hmm. and mouth. Yeah, no, I get it. I get yeah. what you're saying. Like, he gets his, um, a Just, taste of his own medicine. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> it's like, he, he suddenly realizes maybe he could have an open mind for a minute. Because yeah. there's something very attractive yeah. about, about these human goals. Yeah. And maybe it's okay to give in to your your desire. your desire. Just, you know, for a night. Yeah. And they're not, I think he thinks they're all bad. Which is why he's yes. like, he's had some bad experiences. So, he's got some trauma. Mm -hmm. He's trying to protect his daughter. His little baby girl. Yes. You know. But in this case, he, yeah. he meets a good human. He's a good human. I mean, the love of a good woman, right? That's like yes. everyone's favorite redemption story. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to read first? Okay, so I'm going to jump a little bit because I'm just going to read my favorite part today. I think you okay, should. Okay, okay. Read so, the favorite part. I'm curious what your favorite part is, actually. Well, my real favorite part is like later my Yeah, that makes sense. Because... So in my mythology, mer folk have legs on land, mm -hmm. so they shift. They're shifters. Mm. Um, which I, because Splash was like, yes, an important movie. <laughs> so you're inspired by the Little Mermaid, Mermaid. both versions. Yeah, Splash. Splash, and then the Moulin Rouge movie. Oh because, yes. yeah, I just wanted like I was the soundtrack. Girl. Yeah, Showgirl. <laughs> it was all like, what's your name, Satine? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, yes. Except no, you and McGregor. Yeah, no, but it's I, all like, but well, all of that like passionate. Dancing on a Paris rooftop. Yeah. Who are you envisioning as a hero? Um, actually, just like a very sexy silver fox. Okay, cool. Yeah, it wasn't like a specific one. I just okay. found some like burly men on. Instagram. I do that a lot. I yeah. just have like a, an yeah. image, and it's not yeah. Anyone. But we should say that the so the well, one of the reasons why I, I wrote this is that one of our, our friend Alexander Cotton mm -hmm. asked me that if there was like any Little Mermaid fanfic I could kind of. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's how yeah. I so then I named the character Alexandra. Ah. It was a it was a dark haired curvilicious beauty Ew. and a dancer, which I don't know if she told me, but in her former life, Alexandra was a dancer. A dancer. A dancer. Of Alexandra the human woman and Triton the sea king, drawn together to compose an erotic song the likes of which you shall never hear again. 
Alexandra Cotton yeah. was a dancer, dancer who inspired this dancer. This dancer. But, so I mean, you know, it's good when you're thinking of your friends. Yes. Yeah. Well, I put you all in, in a book. Yeah. So it, it only makes sense that you two yeah. put per- people in books. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It's, it's all part of like the same universe. Yeah, yeah, and then we write in each other's universes yeah. from time to time. Yeah. And then, yeah. 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 Like eventually I'll have some mermaids that are banging in some of Julia Kelly's books. Julia's cave. Yeah. <laughs> she has like all these caves, and I'm like, girl. Thanks for doing the research for me. <laughs> I'm going to need to borrow that Yeah, game. borrow that game. <laughs> Great setting. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, so, you're not reading us your real favorite scene. You're yeah. reading us your other favorite scene. Yeah, because my real favorite scene is when they, um, when Triton is in his mer form. Mm-hmm. And in the and when they first meet, he shifts to his land form. Because that's, otherwise Really and is. I wanted him to look, man, you know, like and viral. I didn't want him to like army crawl. On him. Like, hey, girl, <laughs> hey, I saw you like dancing. <laughs> I was like, there's, a, I, I having worn a mermaid tail, I was suddenly very aware of like how actually awkward it is. So she did a reading yeah. from this book, yeah, in front of a huge audience, yes, and wearing we a tail, a tail, and, like, and a fireman. Carried you yeah. in and out. And, out. and in the mermaid tail. Yeah, it was really great. Yeah. yeah. She does the best shows. Yeah. That was really his name is Slate, by the way. Of course it is. I know. It was really good. <laughs> like ball. And they yeah. just like put me over shoulder, carry me off. Yeah. It was also great because the rest it was like an evening of performances, and the rest of them were like comedy. And then I came on and I was like, so <laughs> enter the sea king. <laughs> Laura's never forgettable. Yeah. <laughs> True. So, I saw her boobs this morning. <laughs> yeah, you did. I, like, they were over here, but I thought they were down here. <laughs> I don't know where they were peeking out from. But what I was wearing was where it was this, actually. I found these armholes. <laughs> it was a great morning. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so Alexandra, so Triton has come to the um, the surface to avenge it. Oh my God, what is it? Okay, to avenge his daughter. I have my own copy over here, so okay, I can great. read along. Okay, great. And um, and Alexandra, she was supposed to dance, but there's some drama at the opera house, so she's dancing on the shore for herself. Yeah, she's like. Oh. Yeah, she's like, screw you guys. Like, I, I'll dance. I'm on page 21. Okay, page yeah. 21. Page for 21. those of you following along. You're on the paperback. I, don't, I think it's different on the ebook. It but, is. Yeah. Okay, so Triton has come to the surface. He sees this <sighs> dancer. I'm remembering things. Yeah. All. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so I was trying to skip around my best paragraphs. Okay, so she had no lantern. But his keen vision and the faint dusk had illuminated everything he needed to see. The deep scarlet of her dress, her dark glossy hair and ruby lips, the summoning motions of her body. He had never seen a human move like that. Mostly he found mortals clumsy, heavy-limbed, and awkward. Being bipedal made them lumber along, whereas merfolk could soar. But this mortal, she was a water storm unto herself. As she undulated and writhed, she told the story. A story he recognized because it was exactly the way he had felt, racing to the surface just now. It was a story of rage and unacknowledged power, a story of being denied, and a story of twisting that denial into something more powerful, the desire to annihilate and avenge. His own body could not move as she did, but his heart and blood knew that cadence all the same. (laughs) Yes, she was a threat, but not to him. So then he's like horny for a second. Okay, Uh and then he's uh like... Triton clenched his fist around his trident. Contact between humans and merfolk was forbidden. Hadn't he just surfaced to bring retribution for a breach of this very ordinance? Which is funny because like he made the rule and he's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> I to break. I gotta do rethink it. my rule. <laughs> 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 okay. Triton turned to leave but gave one last glance back to the beach. The dancer had stopped. Her gaze focused on the water. She knew he was there. <laughs> Triton swallowed. Would she run? Would she scream? Would she come closer? Or would she pretend he didn't even exist? 
The dancer did none of these. Instead, she did something Triton had not expected. The merest hint of a smile touched her lips as she extended her leg and swiveled her hips, yeah. beginning a new chain of erotic movement. Yeah! yeah. More yeah. dancing. We're taking the camera, sorry. Okay. We're getting excited. More dancing. It's special effects. Yeah. Special effects. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so he's like, oh my god. She was no longer dancing for herself. She was dancing for him. He felt himself harden and his breath catch. I know. I know, right? Yeah. Um, when my uncle read this book, he's like, you have a lot of feelings. I'm like, yeah, there are a lot of feelings. Like, most of them are hard feelings. <laughs> My uncle said it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, this new dance invited his gaze and offered a world of wonders to gaze upon. Dark hair that whipped in the breeze, full round breasts set high above a broad waist that tapered in, into even more ample hips. Triton cataloged the treasures of her body one by one, like seashells collected along the shore. Oh, good line. Thank you! Thank yes. you! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's like, how many beach metaphors can I come up with? <laughs> <laughs> All of them. All of them. <laughs> we got a running list. Okay. What kind? <laughs> he felt the way he had when he swung upon his first sea mountain, awed by the scope of its peaks and valleys, yearning to grip his fingers into its folds. Fish rotten fire, Triton swore under his breath. This human was taunting him with her wide thighs and begged to have teeth sunk into them. Worse, it was working. The right thing to do would be to leave. The right thing to do would be to sink back under the waves and find a new cove. After all, he was here for revenge, not for recreation. But then that damned, puckish breeze came to him again, bringing the scent of her arousal, the smell of her hair and skin. Triton wanted her, mm -hmm. no matter what his rules decreed. Mm -hmm. And when the king of the sea wanted something, he got her. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, He's such an alpha. I know, he totally is. Okay, can I read like one more paragraph? Yeah, because, read whatever okay, you want. Because then my, so then he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get you, baby. And then it's like, you know, what's this girl gonna do? Like, she's dancing on the ocean. The sea god comes out, and she's like, is that a tail? No, that's legs. I do. Yeah, maybe. But. Oh, you were gonna skip ahead? Maybe. No, no. Oh yeah, no, like 25, I think. So like, he comes out of the water, and he's like, he stalks through the surf with the grace and purpose of a panther. And his gaze pins her to the spot. She's like, am I out of my afraid? No, I'm curious. I don't know. And then he's just kind of like staring at her. And she's like, she curtsies because she doesn't know what else to do. He's a king. Good manners. He's a king, right? Okay, so then this is the part. So then she's like, oh. And they're just kind of both like, oh, I like you. Because they're both like, like you. zing. zing. <laughs> and then it's also like, waves and winds and the moon. Oh, it's a full moon. Which full moons are important later in my mythology. Oh, but it yeah. Has, uh, yeah, but full moons are important. I'm very excited. Yeah, full moons are a big deal for mermaids. Okay, so, like, so she's just, this is her point of view, so she's just like, okay, the sea god, oh, she's like, is he a king or a god? Like, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Because she's, she's like, you know, Mardi Gras is close enough to the Mediterranean, it's like, oh, it could be, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, the sea god raked his eyes over her body, taking yeah. as much time to soak her in as she had taken with him. He lingered over the bend of her waist, the arch of her breasts as her breath came heavy now, her heart thundering faster with each second of his gaze. He reached a hand out to catch one of her curls and laid it softly back on her shoulder. Was this madness? Magic? Witchcraft? Delirium? Minutes ago, she had been lower than scum at the Opera de Monte Carlo. Now, before her stood a god of the sea, naked, with legs where she had just seen a tail, looking at her as if she were a feast hastily readied for a starving king. Alexandra's skin tingled, her nerves trilling like nightingales. What should she do? Scream? Run? Faint? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know. What to do? What to do? She scanned through her mind, heart, and spirit, each of which was paralyzed. All that was left to guide her was her body. Her body, which prickled with goosebumps and churned with longing, her body saw the tsunami of desire in the sea god's eyes and said, "Let me drown." Oh yeah, I love it with this like, ah, oh, yes. yeah. I was like, oh my god, just take me under. It was settled then. Her body had set the course. All Alexandra had to do was surrender. Do you belong to anyone? He asked. No, she whispered. Good, he said, because tonight. You belong to the king of the sea. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, that's the part. <laughs> it's very hot, you guys. Yeah, I feel really warm. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's like, woo. Woo, I 
have some endorphins going. It's yeah. like I was running. A cold shower afterwards. Yeah. Unless you're just going to sleep. Just going to sleep. And then you just kind of like let that glow settle over you. And, and you all have sweet dreams. Yeah, you just drift off. Can't <laughs> try. Like, yeah. Coming like, to you yeah. and saying for tonight. Yeah. Just like that hormone me. spike just last all night. It's so good. <laughs> Oh, I love it when you crawl into bed with me. I like crawling into bed with you. We'll have to do this again. Okay. (laughs) Maybe we won't. People watch. (laughs) Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Thanks for joining Laura and I in bed this week. I hope that we didn't blow out your ears with all of our giggling. We had a lot of fun, though, and hopefully that made it fun for you guys. And as I send this episode out, I'm going to include the full version of Nate reading the blurb so that you guys can enjoy it too. King of the Sea, a paranormal merman romance from the Sea of Love, book one. Do you belong to anyone? He asked. No, she whispered. Good, because tonight you belong to the king of the sea. Some say legend. How a penniless American girl transformed into La Sarine de Monte Carlo, the most seductive dancer ever to grace the European stage. Some say myth. How beneath the dark mystery of the sea, an entire world of mermaids and mermen is ruled by a mighty sea king wielding a magical trident who ravishes maidens on the shore. Once betrayed, he vowed never to trust a human again. But I will tell you a tale of dance in the sea, of tides and lust, of Alexandra the human woman and Triton the sea king drawn together to compose an erotic song the likes of which you shall never hear again. Come, turn the page, and discover the secret passions within. King of the Sea, book one of the Sea of Love romance series, is a Shift of Merman erotic romance novella. It's Moulin Rouge meets the Little Mermaid with a smoldering hot mythological silver fox demigod twist. No daddy issues, but plenty of yes please. Madame de Boudoir's Sea of Love series is a paranormal, historical fantasy series of erotic romances featuring daring mermaids, passionate mermen, and the humans who have more than met their match. Pick it up off shelves everywhere. <laughs>